What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of FMF here on Nappy Speaks. I know uh, really all we've had on Nappy Speaks for the past couple weeks is just FMF since E3, but I'm going to DC next week, so more vlog content, yeah. Anyways, if you guys want to send something in to be featured on FMF, then by all means, link to our PO Box is included in the description below, but make sure whatever you're sending goes on a one-way trip and you don't expect anything back. As Sadie tries to sniff my hand here. Over the past few weeks, we've opened up a lot of boxes here on FMF because primarily boxes take up a lot of space. My countertop, my kitchen countertop is filled with boxes right now, but I wanted to focus on some packages this week. So we're gonna go ahead and open these up, and then we're gonna go ahead and open up the one, two, three, four, five, first five letters that we have here at the end of the video. Now, as you guys can see, we have a lot of mail, a lot of letters. I'm gonna say, can you excuse you? Can you stop trying to always be in everybody's business? I'm trying to be in everybody's business all the time. But as you guys can see, we do have a ton of mail that has come in, a lot of letters, and the issue that we had with P.O. Box polls before is that we had so much mail, so, so much mail. And over here on Navi Speaks, since it's a smaller channel, we have a smaller audience, we have less mail that's coming in, so hopefully it'll be just as manageable, but please, you don't have to worry. I will get through these in good due time. Everything is in the order that it came in. I'll go ahead and open them uh, as they come through, so don't worry about it. But we're gonna open up these five at the end of the video and these six or seven little baggy vanilla envelope packages today, okay? I think the only reason I took the time out to mention all that is because people tweet me and leave comments all the time saying, did you get my package? Did you get my letter? And it's like, I have no idea, because <laughs> your screen name is gonna be different than what's on the actual letter itself, so I, 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 I can, I'm just one person. I can only go through the mail as I get it, and that's that. Anyways, moving on, up next we have another package from China Post, and the description on this one just says toy. So let us see what toy we have inside here from China Post. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh my god, we have a poop emoji plush pillow. And you know what's funny is there is a company that makes these that actually hit me up that wanted me to like advertise these like emoji pillows. And I'm like, uh, okay, swag. So we got a little poop emoji pillow. Haha, <laughs> no clues to it in, but shout out to you and your shit fetish. Moving right along, we have a package from Card Rush. I don't know, that sounds like a shop of sorts. Uh, I hope there's a letter or something in here because people send in cards all the time but I have no idea who it comes from. Let's see here, let's see here. Do we have, we don't have any words. I don't know if it, the person, Johnny, if you're the one that sent it in or if that's just the person that runs Card Rush but apparently we have a little pack of cards here sent in that, uh, oh my, oh, all right, okay. All right, oh my goodness. If there is any doubt about us needing to play Gengar or Mega Gengar, have no fear, we got plenty of Gengar spirit links. Moving along again, we have a package from James in Rosemead, California. So let us see what we have inside here. There's a few different things, but let's see. Do we have a letter of sorts? Let's check her out here, make sure we don't rip anything that's inside. <clears throat> so James has sent us a letter, it says, please read on camera. Sorry for the errors that I crossed out, this is okay. It says, Dear Nappy, my name is James. I've been subscribed to your channel since 2015 and now I'm subscribed to your Nappy Speaks channel. I would thank you for making me laugh whenever I have a very rough day at work. I'm a prep cook working my way up to become a chef. Well, good luck with that. I'm also a graduate from Le Cordon Bleu College of Culinary Arts. I attended that school from April 7, 2014 and graduated December 18, 2015. I also sometimes suffer from simple partial seizures. It's when you're conscious, have sensations of following experiences or flashbacks and hallucinations. I went to my doctor and told him about this. He told me, he told me I stay up late. He asked me, he told me, do I stay up late? And I said, yes, it's because I have work. You work 50 hours a week, Jesus. I also asked him when does it happen, he told me it happens randomly. He also told me there's a possibility that I can have a stroke, faint, or even worse, a heart attack. If it happens, I don't know when. I'd like to thank you for making me happy and keeping me entertained with your videos slash content every day. I hope it doesn't get another, I hope I don't get another simple partial seizure in my life or heart or heart failure. 
I would also like to ask you for some advice. I've been working out and doing cardio and eating healthy, but why is my belly getting big? What am I doing wrong? Well, you can keep the things I sent you. Sincerely, James. Well, that was a lot to take in all at once. But, 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 going down the line, I'm glad that you enjoy the content. And thank you for the support. I'm very happy that it has pulled you through some rough times as well. Congratulations on graduating from Le Cordon Bleu College of Culinary Arts. Uh, and I wish you the best of luck with your journey, your quest to becoming a chef. Uh, I really, really hope, just as you do, that you don't have any other simple partial that I, simple partial seizures or any issues with your heart because that would be very, very sad because that, I, I don't even know what to say. I really, I really just hope that you're okay in the future, bro. And it's, it's good, well, I, see, I, don't, I was gonna say it's good that you're working out and getting fit and healthy, but I don't know if that's something that can help prevent or if it doesn't matter. I, I, I don't know what to say. I just hope that you're, that you're, you're, you're all right in the future, bro. Uh, when it comes to eating healthy and losing your belly, uh, it's one of those things that you have to keep in mind. You didn't choose where to put on the weight. So you can't choose where the weight comes off. So what oftentimes what ends up happening is as people begin to work out and they lose weight, they lose a lot of their extra fat from their extremities first. And then your, your belly and your mid area and your hips is where oftentimes it's, it's a, a lot harder to lose weight from there. So what I would say is keep working at it. Definitely keep an eye on your diet as well. And uh, it's not something that happens overnight. You gotta put in a lot of work, a lot of effort. And like I said, most of the times, a lot of people end up having uh, fat disappear from their belly and their hips uh, probably last. So just keep at it, don't let it discourage you. Uh, he also sent in some artwork as well. We have a Houndoom, we have our Nappy Speaks logo, we have a Gengar, a Mega Gengar, and a Charizard there. And then on the flip side, we have the Tucson Terrakion's logo as well, which is dope as fuck. He also sent in a Totodile hat, which is pretty dope. We also have a book called The Higher Taste, A Guide to Gourmet Vegetarian Cooking and Karma-Free Diet. We have not one, but two Diamond and Pearl Happini cards. And James also included a picture of himself. He actually sent us his Lake Cordon Blue ID, which is kind of wild. That's definitely gonna be interesting to put on the big collage of pictures that we get from all of you guys. The final package this week that we're gonna open comes from Max in Waddell, Arizona, and it says, do not bend. So let us see what we have here. Hello, what in God's name? Wait, 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 we have, I don't know if, I, I don't know if Max is the actual person, or if that's just the person that, made it and sent it to us, but apparently it is a license plate cover and some decals that have Gengar, I don't know if you guys can see that or not for the focus, because my face is in the way, but it's got Ghastly Haunter and Gengar on it with some Pokeballs, which is actually kind of dope. That's kind of a dope license plate cover. And then we have a decal that has Ghastly Haunter and Gengar on it too. So shout out to you, whoever sent that in. With that though, it's gonna go ahead and wrap up this week's FMF. Thank you to everybody that sent something in. And if you sent something in and you haven't seen it yet, please, 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 please be patient. Like I said before, I'm only one person. I can only do so much at a time but I will get to things as I get to them. If you are watching and would like to send something in to the P.O. Box, then by all means, our P.O. Box address is included in the description below. You can go and check it out down there. And uh, whatever you send in, just make sure it's going on a one-way trip and nothing is to be sent back. Of course, make sure to include a picture of yourself as well so we can make a big old subscriber mural montage because I get to see you guys. You get to see me every day, but I never get to see you guys and Sadie, just figured, you know what, video's done, she's out of here. Anyways, thank you all so much for sending stuff in, and thank you so much for your support over here on the Nappy Speaks channel. With that, I'm gonna get up out. Why?
We also had a letter this week from Josh, aka Pokewood Theaters, and I wish you the best of luck with your channel, bro. Thank you so much for the support all the way since August 2014. Next up is a letter that we received from John Paul all the way from New Zealand. He also sent us some Pokemon cards and a picture of himself and his dog Cinnamon. And I can tell you love Cinnamon just as much as I love Sadie. So thank you so much for the support and for sending something in. Up next, we have a letter from Harry in Chino Valley, Arizona, who also sent us a little bit of art and a Gengar card, an original fossil Gengar card. And I hope that you and your brother keep Molly whopping your foes in the video games. Up next, we have a letter from Jameson in Tennessee, who also sent us a few Pokemon cards. He even used the word of the day, stupendous, and hashtag fuck Nathan. Shout out to you, bro. Thank you so much for the support, and I'm glad you enjoy the content as the camera focuses. <sighs> we also have a letter from Aaron in Fayetteville, North Carolina, who says, keep calm and hashtag blame PK. Thank you so much for the support, and I'm glad you enjoy the content, and you can't wait to get home from school to watch it. They also sent us a fan art of Yugi Moto, and then we have the King Nappy as well, which is dope as 